Hi, Mr. Layton, back again with the next video in this series going through our music resource book. If you haven't watched the other videos, go back and watch those so that you can get all caught up. Now, let's get right into it. We're talking about major and chromatic scales. In music, a scale is a series of ascending notes and descending notes. So these are just fancy words. If you don't know what ascending means, it means going up. When we're going up, that's ascending. When we're going down, descending is just a fancy word for going down. There are many types of scales. The major scale and the chromatic scale are explained below. A major scale is based on a specific series of whole steps and half steps. A chromatic scale is made up of entirely of half steps. A whole step consists of two half steps. A half step is the distance between two adjacent keys on a keyboard or I like to say it's the shortest distance between two notes, whether you're going down lower on your instrument or you're going up higher on your instrument. And learning your half steps is a really valuable thing. The distance between these two keys, from this key to the next key over, that is a half step. So you're either going one key over to the right or one key over to the left. Those are half steps. Okay, so if I'm on this key right here, that's the E key. And if I go directly to the left, then I'm going to that black key, and that is a half step. Or if I'm on the E key and I go directly to the very next key, that's this key right here because we don't have a black key in between those keys, that's a half step. E to F is a half step. Okay. The distance between these two keys is a whole step. So we have, we have a, this is a key that is the note A on the piano. And if I go to this one, that's a half step, but I'm going to go over another key to B, that is a whole step. So from A to the key B is a whole step. And if I wanted a whole step from E to F, that's a half step, but I would need to go to F sharp or G flat to get a whole step. Okay. So that is explaining what half steps and whole steps are in this really hard to pull on this. But I hope that helps you understand. Now we're going to talk about how we build a major scale. How do we build a major scale? So the following ex example of a major scale starting on C, the placement of whole steps and half steps are marked. So this is how we build them, any major scale. We can start anywhere with any note. And if we're using this pattern of whole steps and half steps, we can build a major scale. And musicians long ago discovered this. So, but in this example, we're starting on C. So if we go from C to D, that's a whole step. Okay. C to D is a whole step, D to E is a whole step, but E to F, remember that, that's a half step, and then we have F to G is a whole step, and then we have G to A, whole step, A to B natural is a whole step, and then B to C is a half step. So it's a whole step, whole step half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. 
Now I can do this anywhere on the piano or my instrument. If I know my whole steps and half steps really well, I can build all 12 of my major scales. And then uh, it's just showed in bass clef. So this is always showing us the treble clef version. And then here's the bass clef version of what we just described. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And that's just a C major scale. No sharps or flats. The following is an example of a chromatic scale starting on C. This scale contains only half steps. So we have C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. And those are all half steps. But a real, a full chromatic scale would take us from C to C on the staff. And nothing but half steps. And then the bass clef version. So here's the treble clef version and the bass clef version. Knowing our half steps on our instrument is really important. And knowing how to build the scales helps us better understand our scales and uh, helps us become better musicians. So I hope this video helps explain what a half step is and what a whole step is and then the patterns that we use to build these scales. These patterns to build a, a major scale or a chromatic scale. In the next video, I'm going to cover the circle of fifths. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next video.